The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. And as we start this day off, there must be something again wrong with my uh, quote feed because there's a little symbol. I'm very unfamiliar with it. And I was promised by shills on CNBC that I would not see this for some time to come. There was no way. This little thing, I, I'm going to call it a dash in front of the number of the change today in the S&P. And it, it's a dash before 19.46. I would assume in any other endeavor that would be a minus sign, but I know that cannot be true. It is 2082.74 on the last tick on the S&P cash, 2.3 billion shares as we start this show off, which is a very good volume for a Friday as we close. And uh, I don't know what else we can say about that, unless you're Forrest Gump. That's all i got to say about that. Off 42 on the NASDAQ. I don't know how that's possible when uh, we have stocks only going to the moon. I'm being a little sarcastic here, but that's part of my personality. 1.2 billion shares on the NASDAQ so far. Dow Jones Industrial Average is uh, less than average today, 146 off at uh, 17,585. And of course, uh, the spies are off uh, two, two, count them, two. I'm the counting count today, two points at uh, 208.16. And if you can't tell, normally I come on this show and because of the way I trade, oop, I've got the wrong thing up here. Uh, normally the way I think, uh, it is different. And uh, it is one of these things where I make money probably more infrequently than most traders. And most traders do not have the patience to sit through um, a day without making money. Uh, they concentrate on very short-term charts, like five minutes and 10 minutes and 15 minutes. I was once like them, dear friends, and I decided to wander away from that, mostly because I wanted to learn how to spend all the extra cash. While you can make money in shorter terms, you can make a great deal more money in medium and long terms, but you got to know what you're doing. And that normally starts off with shorter terms because at least mentally you can handle it. And two, you get a lot more experience coming in and out. I had a year where I had some 4,000 trades. I had built my own mechanical system, computerized for those people in Lutz, Florida, uh, in uh, my own mechanical system. And it worked fairly well long before, and it was 2004, long before we saw the, uh, what is known as high frequency trading systems out there. But I, it was a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of bookkeeping. And it was, this was right after the Fooled by Randomness book by Nassim Tlaib came out. But there was one paragraph that changed my view of trading and it took me several years to get it through my thick skull. And uh, that was that if you're always playing the odds, you're probably playing too much. You need to wait until things are deliberately in your favor and then act upon them. If uh, you've been in my newsletters, you know that I can go weeks without a trade. And I wear that as a badge of honor. I try to, when things are tough, maybe have one or two plays. So I've got my toe in the water. But uh, I like to set it up so I never have 100% of my money uh, in the market for the most part. 
When there are extreme conditions, I like to be 100% committed, actually dedicated, not committed. Uh, but it is one of those days today where I will come in and honk my own horn because if you don't, no one else will. I learned that, of course, from watching movies. I'm trying to remember what that was. It was uh, Dolly Parton. can't remember which movie it is now, but uh, she said it in a movie. If you don't honk, honk your own horn, no one else will. Well, we're sitting on a mountain of cash today in the daily newsletter. The reason why was we saw a signal. We acted on that signal, and we did what is the most important thing to do in the stock market, and that is make asymmetrical bets. That is, bet $1 to get three, four, five, eight back. And uh, even if you're just right half the time, you're going to make a ton of cash. Here's Tony Robbins. Although he wrote a book about investing, this is probably the only thing worth uh, listening to out of all of it, and it runs less than 30 seconds. You know, all of these investors have something in common, the best on earth. I interviewed 50 of them, the very best that exist in the world, and Nobel laureates, and said, you know, what is it that sets you apart? They all are obsessed with not losing money. Paul's not lost money in 21 years. But the biggest thing is they look for that asymmetrical risk reward. So Paul's approach is, if I'm going to invest the dollar, is it really a five to one? Am I going to make five? I'm certain to make five. And yet, like, unlike some talking heads on television, he knows he's going to be wrong. So if I risk one to make five and I'm wrong and I can try it again, I can be wrong four out of five times and still do well. He's not wrong four to five times. And neither am I. And, of course, uh, we were short BIIB. And uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, we used options, and that helped us make sure that we were going to have minimal losses and exceptional gains, if we were correct. Uh, the BIIB, if you have not looked, is off 77 as we speak. Uh, we were shorting it uh, with options. We took the 400 Septembers. Uh, I thought it would probably take a little bit longer for these things to develop. Uh, but uh, if uh, you played them, as I said in my newsletter, you would have been in them better than 23 and out better than 80. So well, if you even just bought one option, you would have been in at $2,300. You would have been out at 8000 And that is exactly how I trade. I, I'm always looking to have a minimal loss. I will probably have more minimal losses than a lot of people because when they are playing it, they're not going to have an asymmetrical or not have a big asymmetrical payback on the other side of it. So as we look at the markets today, we are always uh, encouraged to think about that. I recommend one of the three books I recommend is Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Tlaib. And I want to thank that book for getting my head right and out of the digging the ditch every single day. And also out of uh, whether a day was good or not, uh, spilling off into my personal life. Now I know I will be occasionally right. When I am, it's going to be a monster occasionally right. And it's going to make a lot more money than me uh, picking away every single day uh, in the uh, 5, 10, and 15-minute chart mines. Uh, but uh, enough of that. We have some monster earnings today. We have lots of other shorts in the daily newsletter. In the long-term newsletter, we got a taste of all that uh, is wonderful in the downside of biotechs. So all is right in the world, and we're going to get the show started. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1987, the corporate assets of ZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZZ
pronounced Z-Best, had virtually no customers, revenues, or assets. And Minklo had set up an elaborate system of phantom offices and phony accounting records, even bribing builders, building owners to pretend the presence of an outside auditor. The Z-Best was cleaning his carpets. And if, in a nutshell, I could describe uh, probably 40 to 50 percent of all China's stocks, it would be ZZZ Best. We've talked about it ad nauseum, um, and I think this is the, as they say, the proverbial chickens coming home to roost uh, when we saw the movement in uh, China. Now, I wasn't expecting it, and I didn't look at it. I probably should have a little closer. When China crashed, a lot of people took their money and ran right over here and still are and making the United States markets a casino. We see that in stocks that are uh, heavily shorted and heavily longed. And we've seen these kind of stocks moving like they did in the dot-com days in 1999 with wild, massive aftermarket swings based on fairly minute changes in their long-term outlook for the companies. Of course, we first saw the advertisement for the casino open up with uh, Google. And I'm, I was always curious to see why everybody thought Google was going to hell in a handbasket. To me, it is one of the most predictable stocks in the market. Everybody uses the product every single day. You know whether you quit using Google or not. The one thing that people were not counting on and something I saw but wasn't able to connect the dots uh, forward on was, of course, how much money that they were making off of YouTube ads. I knew that they'd started playing a lot of ads, but I didn't know how much that would fall into it. I certainly didn't want to short it. Um, I knew that they were pushing to get more earnings on. But at the same time, I see the longer-term chart patterns develop. These are the three gap plays. Uh, I actually put the one, and I think for Amazon this morning, a lot of these stocks look like they've kind of topped out and finished three massive gaps up. Every time it looked like these were going to fail before, the Fed rushed to the microphones to jawbone the markets up again. Now we are seeing just the opposite, and that is the old, quote, quote, accidental leak. Somebody just happened, just by chance, to leak, of course, Fed documents yesterday. They tell us a few things. But uh, what we do know now is at least their internal papers, whether they're true or not, or they were just for public consumption, was that the, that the Fed, as of a couple of days ago, is assuming that they were going to have at least a one and a quarter Fed fund rate higher than it is today, suggesting three or four hike, uh, hikes until then. But the first one, according to the leaked documents, taking place in September or October. My bet's on September already. We will be back in a minute. We will be talking. Give me a call at 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Tiger T. TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crisp.
crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk, charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. And as we are back, I wanted to uh, remind everybody at the three o'clock hour, uh, we are going to have a double helping of Larry Pizzavento today. In the 3 o'clock hour, I will be back for the 4 o'clock hour. So if you have any questions, uh, broad questions on technology, make sure and uh, get ready. Well, I'll be taking phone calls in that hour, and uh, we can talk about that. I've been listening to just about every earnings call I can. I was up till 2 in the morning last night, or actually this morning, listening to uh, earnings calls, and up at 6, uh, waiting for BIIB to... Uh, uh, pay me off and uh, I'll be ready I'll probably by five o'clock I think I'll be ready for a nap but in the meantime you know, fire up those phones give me a call 877-927-6648 and uh, do a little bit of the lifting for me today uh, monologue is not always the easiest thing anyway uh, we uh, had some questions about looking at the IBB and maybe the uh, BIIB, can't remember which one it was. It scrolled past uh, out here. But, uh, you know, we've got some fairly decent moves. But what I really was looking at in technology and also the BIIB was just a general way that it had been moving. Um, while it was harder to see any kind of huge crack in the IBB until yesterday, um, it was a lot easier to see the move in Biogen 
uh, that looked to me making a giant ABC on the way down. It does exactly what I've talked about many times in this uh, show, and that is going back up to where it came down with heavy volume. It gets up there with no volume, and at that point, you have to make a decision, you know, and to me, at that point, a $23 bet against a $420 stock was everything that I thought it could be. I was, I had a minimal, a very tiny amount of risk in comparison to the stock value. I also had, I thought, odds incredibly in my favor. Um, this stock gap down on the 24th of April, it did so on 6 million shares. Guess what? It got up there with 1 million shares. And I think I actually covered this on the show. Um, I liked it. I loved, especially, let me zoom in here just a little bit closer so I can tell you why I took this trade. A couple people email me and I am me in the den about it. But here's where I'm looking at. If you, if you can see it, hopefully you can. Uh, at least on my power law vector indicator number, on the way down it had a 3.3. On the way up it had a 1.6. And that was everything I needed to know. There wasn't a whole lot of energy back in it. When it hit that gap, um, I had basically risked to about 430 on the thing. Uh, but we went ahead and pulled the trigger on it, got in on the options fairly decently. Had to basically, you know, when this thing was down at 380, had to decide whether or not I was going to take the easy money, which would have been about $35 on those $23 puts, did not do it because I didn't feel I could give up my position and still hold through yet another time. This goes to a quote that I made it yesterday, which is, only the penitent man will pass. That is, that you're going to have to be incredibly good to make big money by sitting on your hands and uh, not rethinking what you've already thought. Everything in my bones said this was an ABC down, and we were going to go to 320, which was the top of this gap. Uh, that went back there, and uh, that's what was in the newsletter out here. But, uh, you know, basically you had everything. I thought it would take until September to do it. I'm glad it did it all in one day. Uh, but uh, this is such as uh, the what a lot of people claim out here is luck, but it uh, it is patterns. They've worked before. Now, could I said that there was a 100% chance this would have happened? It, I couldn't, but it was a great setup. Everything worked out right. I love the fact that the VIX was infinitesimal. I think it was in the 12s when we went ahead and took the original position on it. It's everything that you want it to be, as they used to say, for was it Visa or MasterCard? It's everything you wanted it to be. Um, and I don't know if it, I would be as ecstatic today if it had taken a month to get down there, which I thought it would probably do. But uh, we got it all in one day, and that's all that matters. You take your cash, and you go buy a new motorcycle like me. Anyway, uh, what else do we have out here to look at? Oh, we're out of time now. But uh, you can always email me at path at tfnn.com uh, and uh, email me. And, of course, post another message in the den. And uh, I'm done honking my horn for the, the rest of the show. My head would get too big. You would not be able to see it with a small webcam. We'll be back. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now.
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. If you're looking for a great opportunity to diversify your financial portfolio, consider the Principal Protected Market Safe CD from EverBank. They've just released the second running of their five-year Market Safe Power Metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. You get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your deposited principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on the CD. Intrigued yet? The August 17th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Juniper Networks came out with earnings and a nice pop-up. And again, uh, how many of these stocks have we shown over the last month or two months that uh, had huge earnings, huge volume, and could not hold the highs and pull back into the trading range? I think that tells you a great deal. Juniper has done that and pulled back a great deal. Of course, we'll get to Amazon here in a little bit. But, uh, you know, not bad news. And certainly if you're along this thing, you got to be happy. But a lot of this was a $5 million, or excuse me, $500 million buyback program. And as more and more financial engineering is propping these stocks up, the question happens, what do these companies do when they don't have any more money to buy these stocks back? Can they prop them up in the short term? The answer is yes. Uh, but um, I would be very worried that you have like a tree like I had in the backyard that uh, just fell over one day. And you go out there and look at it, and you know what? The ants had gotten into it and eaten the whole thing hollow. And uh, maybe that's why you get stocks like BIIB and rapid moves out here. And that would be what I'm worrying about on this one. To me, the other thing is the possibility that this is a three-gap play and you are all done. Uh, this had a big gap that got partially filled back on the 28th of January. The next big gap happened on the 24th of April. And now we have the next big gap out here today. They're all about the same size, which I kind of like when they're uh, at least symmetrical in price moves. 
and that's what you got to work and watch for. Again, some people saying the exact same thing, AMZN, uh, about um, Amazon. And uh, it, of course, it came way off the highs of 580 today. But it, it also is a fairly decent example of three major gaps. If you want and you don't have it, uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com, and I'll send you the link. Uh, but uh, not only do I know Three Gaps plays, I wrote the white paper on it. So you can get a link to it. You can also just Google Three Gap plays TFNN, and it'll pop up too. Uh, other things of interest, though, Three Gap plays, you like to have them big. You like to have them on volume. And in this case, probably a blow-off top in Amazon. Um if the markets pull back, I think you can make a case on it. Now, I will be talking about why Amazon is such a great company, but also the risks going forward. And there are two, but I'll be talking about that in the 4 o'clock hour. So we'll get back to it. But uh, technically, you got to watch out for the three gap plays out here. There are a ton of them. And uh, my guess is at least these tops are going to get filled fairly quickly in the casino that has become the NASDAQ. Uh, Visa, speaking about everywhere you want it to be, um, is back. It was kind of up on some decent volume out here today. Consensus EPS estimates were beat by 16 cents, uh, raised its fiscal year 15 EPS slightly. But uh, not a whole lot. I think a lot of people were short a lot of these stocks, and they bounced the wrong way. Uh, what else do we have out here? Uh, BCR. BCR. Uh, CR Baird Incorporated. This one actually has held its high and has some decent volume. Needed 600,000 shares, has a million. So some of these stocks are doing okay. Not everything is always going to hell in a handbasket, just most of the time. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to remember what this company does exactly. Uh, let's get back off here. Um, designs, manufactures, packages, distributes, and sells medical, surgical, diagnostic, and patient care devices. Okay? Um, I mean, at least this looks like a completion of a fairly long ABC up. Let's see if we can get that out here. Okay, uh, this would be the completion of w the first one that starts back at $92 on November 13th of 2012. Your B point comes in on November 22nd of 2013. Your C point comes back in with uh, basically a 33% retracement to February 3rd of 2014. That would take you to the 1 to 1, 172, and today to the 1 uh, point uh, one. 382. So everything probably of that minor one, if you want to look a little closer, uh, what else is out here? Um, the, probably the next closest one out here is um, a low. Let me set this back up so we pick it up out here. Um, the 141 October 1st, 2014 low. The 180.35 B point, and you get the April 1st, 2015, 163.81 C point, kind of pull back consolidation out here. That would take you to 202.89. And uh, I don't know. It's broken out. It's broken out with volume. So you got what? Another possible 12 points in the thing? Eh, you could do it, even in a down market. Uh, let's we'll see what else we have out here. Uh, da, 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 da. We talked Juniper. We talked Visa. Uh, on the downside, we have Capital One. And it, of course, uh, on the downside today, uh, earnings of $1.78 a share, including non-recurring items. 19 cents worse than estimates, though. And that's all you need to know. Um, this broke out. It didn't do it with a sign of strength, and it's coming back in. Again, uh, what is it, 79-something or rather, um, off 12%. Now, 
I will bring up a short topic, and it's only because I was watching very closely today um, and fast-forwarding through my CNBC content. I very rarely watch it on an ongoing thing. I'll leave it there and it's recording all day with my Fios Super DVR so I can fast forward through it quickly. Normally, I don't even listen to it. I only watch the closed captioning too because eh, far too many people are on there trying to sell a, a lot of hooey. If you've never seen hooey before, it's, it's not nice. It's not uh, as attractive stuff. Anyway, uh, as they continue to uh, pump their pablum, I'm going to mix some metaphors here today. Um, certainly wanted to see how much time they spent on Amazon versus stocks that were down, like BIIB or COF. And so far, uh, probably about 20 to 1. Amazon, uh, happy talk to stocks that are getting pelted today. Uh, when we look at COF, uh, of course, it's down 12%. Amazon was up 15%. So maybe you can say just because it was bigger, that was it or more people are in it, or more people know it, uh, then it uh, demands time. But uh, just mentions of BIIB uh, were probably one thirtieth of Amazon, but uh, taking a much bigger beating today. Uh, there is a bias, especially for retail traders, and that is if they're watching something like uh, less Bloomberg, they tend to be uh, so boring that I think anybody watching it falls asleep. And then uh, Fox Business News, which is just getting started, can't really tell anything about that. Of course, 80% of the people watching are probably retail traders are watching CNBC and why it gets for fairly low viewership. Uh, most people don't know that only probably about 80 to 100,000 people are watching CNBC during the day. If you're lucky, 200, 225,000 people watch CNBC between 4 and 6, the end of the programming day. And then, of course, uh, a handful of uh, morons will watch uh, Jim Cramer. Bring me the head of the false prophet, Jim Cramer. Anyway, uh, it is one of these things where they will always concentrate on the positive because when they concentrate on the negative, no one watches and they can't sell ads. Mike from Canada, how are you doing today? Yeah, hi. Thanks for taking my call. What can we do for you? Uh, Regeneron, R-E-G-N is a ticker symbol. It halted. Yep. R-E-G-N. I guess the news came out and it was positive, at least in Regeneron. Mm -hmm. um, what's your question? Potentially that IBB gap, can it be filled as a result? Or like um, Gilead, science's earnings are coming out next week, right? So, I mean, how much how much more downside do you see? Uh, long term, short term? Short term, yeah, short term, yeah. Like I, I'm just positioning. I'm positioning for the LABD. I'm in cash I'm, now. I, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the uh, IBB probably back to 330. Long term, I could see it would go back to 280. Uh, how about any upside pops? Like you see a gap coming back to 395? Mm, not Gaps that high now. Filled, don't they? Probably maybe 50% of this move. Uh-huh. So, uh -huh. no. Uh, everything I'm looking at, the whole thing, uh, looks and smacks of Apple. And that is everybody that had a dime to put into biotechs has put it in. Mm -hmm. So you got to get new money from somewhere. And I think the last big move out here for not only tech stocks, but biotechs too, was all this money coming out of China that we've been swashing around. We got yeah. one more probably bounce that we shouldn't have had. And now we've got stocks that are 100% long by every, by, uh, let me put it this way, long by the masses, right? Mm -hmm. Apple, mm -hmm. it, who, who, who is going to go long Apple now that has not been long Apple for a while? Yeah. It, so basically, you're, you're basically stating that if there's any bounces next week in the IBB, they're basically a gift to get short. Yes. I, okay. I just don't see a, a great deal out here of additional capital. Everybody says there's all kinds of cash on the sidelines. Yeah. I, I just don't see it. I don't see it mostly because for the last two and a half, three months, 
Uh, we've had negative flows out of a great deal of the IRA money. They've been at best flat and at worst uh, withdrawals. I suspect we're going to see more of those. Mm -hmm. And just literally everything I see uh, from a fundamental prospect going forward says that people will probably be taking more money out of the market than putting money mm -hmm. in. But we have end of the month window dressing, okay? Which has been, and we also which has have been a negative coming Wednesday. Which, yeah, which has been a negative for the last three months. More money's come out that's gone in. Okay. Doesn't mean that they won't try marking up the market again. Yeah. It's just more cash came out that went in. Okay, and okay. Then, but and then you saw normally the pattern's been everybody gets all bullish the first half of the month into options expiration. As soon as options expiration goes off, Everybody gets to sell them, and they get to sell them in a, in a big way. And I think the only reason we've had this last move back up is the money that they thought was safe in China has now been shown to be um, a miserable sinkhole or a quicksand dip of where you get in, and it's going to be six months before you can even touch your cash. I think yeah, everybody's yeah, okay. figured that out, and they're all of the Wild West money yeah. now is going into stocks like Amazon overnight. And we've seen in our back basically the late 90, 1999 where stocks were moving 50 or 100 or 20% a day with 10% swings in a day and everything else. Just a handful of stocks. But that's the way okay. it was in 1999 too. Okay, let's switch so. topics to TBT. Okay. TBT uh, again. I'm in cash and just watching the watching this uh, inverse ETF. Uh, there's a gap at 43.80. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see a high probability of being filled next week on the FOMC meeting? No. I mean, I to me, I think you've got probably everything you could hope for out here. If you were asking whether it was time to go long, yeah, I'd be long today. Long today, I, that's all. I, I think tomorrow, I think Monday, we thought maybe today would be the horrible day. My guess is going to be, I mean, it wasn't great in the indexes. But my guess is next week is going to be the week where we start seeing uh, this, which to me looks like an ABC. You know, does it get down to 44 bucks? Maybe. My guess yeah. is that we see it turn come Monday morning. I think a lot of people are going to figure things out over the weekend. So I would be, if right. I was going to get long, yeah, could you wait till Monday? I think the answer is yes. Could you go yeah. long today? I think the answer is yes. But you don't uh, see a flight to safety? Like, like if we have a bad week, okay, next week is bad, obviously there's going to be money going into, into, the, into the safeties, okay, and in the treasuries, right? So that would basically inflate TLT and it would depress TBT more. I don't see it. I see the money going to the mattresses. I don't think anybody thinks anything's safe. Uh-huh. I mean, the... the, the it, <sighs> It would have been different if we didn't see. Now, I know gold's bouncing today. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if we would have seen a lot of movement in copper and the metals this morning and make me think that there's, you know, well, everybody's diving back in for yeah. manufacturing. But the numbers in China overnight, horrible going into this weekend. There's nothing new in that. There's nothing in there that says that a lot of this is going to change. It's just a lot of people randomly throwing money around, hoping that they get a return. This is, yep. you know, this is where people randomly and hugely change cash. And for the most part, they're probably going to lose their pants. We'll yeah, be back. I'm going to wait till next week. Thanks a lot. Okay. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS 
has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And I think I still have problems with my ticks out here, my... Uh data because it still has a little dash next to this 25 on the S&P cash, uh, 2077 and a half on the S&P cash, 2.66 billion shares. So we have a ton of volume. Uh, if you missed the first part of the show, I was busy honking my own horn and uh, telling you that uh, we will have a double shot of Larry Pesavento and me after him today. He'll be in the next hour and I'll be in the four o'clock hour. Talking technology, you can always give me a call at 877-927-6648. And if you want a broad question about technology, uh, save it for four o'clock. I look forward to your calls. In the meantime, we've got a market that uh, looks like it's finally getting a little bit of scaredness in it. Although I don't see that much movement in the VIX, I see a lot more of it, and of course, uh, people getting into gold. Is this a buy signal in gold? I doubt it. I think uh, everybody's, again, clued into the 5- and 15-minute charts. And, 
you know, when I was racing motorcycles or started racing motorcycles, um, road racing, I uh, raced dirt bikes when I was young. Uh, but when I was 38 or 40, eh, whatever it was, 38, 40, I decided I was going to have a small amateur career in racing, road racing motorcycles. And I went to school to uh, at least learn the basics of it, talk to a couple of people that knew what, the, uh, what they were doing. And the first thing that they said is, you know, you got to look down pretty far down the tracks, uh, down, the, down the road. If you look right in front of you, everything looks like it's moving so fast. But guess what? If you look, you know, if you're on the straightaway, you look all the way down into the corner, you know, you'll get there a lot sooner than you think. And uh, you also have to kind of trust yourself. And that's very hard to do. One of the things that they had us do, and I, it is one of the weirdest things that will ever be counterintuitive that I've ever done. Although all the, generally all the big money I've made in markets has always been counterintuitive too was to not use brakes. They just stuck us on the track, and I got to race around as fast as I could. But guess what? When I went into a corner, I could not use my brakes. So you had to learn the proper turn entry speed. And especially when I was doing this at a track up in South Carolina, this thing had a, tor a corner that you could not see from the straightaway. All you knew is that it, it went down and to the right and swept down as it went away. And you had to have a lot of guts first time figuring out that you could fly in there and just scrub off speed with your front wheel. Uh, you had to have faith in your abilities. You had to have faith that the tire would stick. And uh, guess what? In one day of just riding around on that track without using brakes, I learned to not only trust myself, trust the front tire of a motorcycle at uh, 130 miles an hour with your knee on the ground. Uh, but I learned a very important thing, and that was that until I really knew my turn entry speed and what it should be, I was most likely going to be flying in there much faster than I probably should have and slamming on the brakes and slamming on the uh, accelerator was just upsetting the bike, upsetting me. And, uh, you know, smooth and steady, guess what? I was, uh, without using brakes at all, by the end of the day, I was five seconds a lap faster than when I used brakes when I started off that morning. Um, just, a, just a thought I thought I'd leave you with on this weekend. The no brakes drill if you want to uh, Google it. Um, but the, it worked great for me. And other people I've taught it to too since. We'll see you in another hour. In the meantime, so when you can, not when you have to. And uh, catch the same bat channel, same bat time on Monday, if not in the 4 o'clock hour. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.